All right, y'all, as we approach the end of the year, this is a good time to consider a few good financial moves that will make a difference in your finances, from changes to your insurances, zeroing out your spending accounts, or setting aside money for your child's education. We have only three weeks left to make these changes. Joining us now to talk all about it is CPA Kimberly Washington. Kim, thank you so much for joining us as always. Now, Kim, we know that many people are seeking ways to save for their dependents' education. What moves should one make before December 31st? Right, so if you're thinking about saving for your child's education, the first thing you want to think about at this time is called the Start Savings Program. It is a 529 program here in the state of Louisiana. The great thing about this program, they'll actually match some of the money that you put into the account. The amount is tax deductible for the state. You can put up to $2,400. You'll receive, rather, a tax deduction up to $2,400 per child and $4,800 if you are married. The great thing, the money grows tax-free, but be careful if you don't use it for education expenses, you may be assessed a penalty, but this is a great move to make before the end of the year. Now, Kim, we know for those who have spending accounts, what steps should they take before December 31st? Right, so if you have a spending account, whether it's a flexible spending account for your medical expenses or for your dependent expenses, you do need to make some changes at this time. And some of those changes, you want to make sure that you're spending those accounts down. Of course, if it's a medical, you want to look for expenses that you can use to pay for the, use the FSA to pay for those expenses. That could be doctor visits, prescriptions, or eyeglasses. You want to do that before December 31st. Of course, it is a dependent FSA. A qualified expenses may include, of course, daycare. So you want to make certain that you reach out to your employer and determine what are some of the rules because, of course, each account can be a little bit different at this time. And also, Kim, after this month, we're going to go into tax season starting next year. Yes. When it comes to your taxes, what moves should you make concerning them? Right. This is also a great time. You have three weeks left. Start thinking about your taxes early because, of course, you only have a limited time to make certain changes. Keep in mind, you can do a quick assessment at IRS.gov where you can actually check and determine, hey, am I expected to get a refund or will I need to pay taxes next year? If you expect that you pay, you will need to pay, you want to make some changes right now. You can pay for certain deductions, whether it's charity expenses or business expenses, or you may want to make changes to your withholdings before it is too late, before the end of the year. And finally, Kim, we all know that it's open enrollment yes. period for healthcare.gov. Now, what should viewers know? Right, so if you're someone who's listening and you don't have health care coverage, this is the time to make the change. You can sign up at healthcare.gov. Of course, keep in mind that you do have a limited time to do so. The deadline is actually January 15, but outside of this time period, you will not be able to sign up unless you have some type of special lifestyle change as far as getting married or maybe recently had a baby. But these are some things that you definitely want to do, and of course, time is running out. Hey, y'all, told y'all should be dropping gems, <laughs> giving us everything we need to know to save on our bottom dollar. Kimberly Washington, as always, really appreciate your time you and so your much. insight. Thank you Thank so much. You. All right, Art.